What's up guys? So we're here in the Titan Medical Center offices and today it's one of our APRN Chenille's five year anniversary. That's a big, big accomplishment to yeah, the Titan Medical Center. Right? Especially here at Titan Medical Center. It's tough here, but you know, if you make it through, you know, we always take care of you. Yes. So we're gonna go give our APRN Chenille her five year anniversary gift, her little cake that we got. And it's gonna be pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these different things, but we got her an explosive cake. So at that point, like butterflies are gonna start flying around, flowers are gonna pop out. It's going to be awesome to see her reaction to this. And I wanted to get your reaction too afterwards. So when you see this video, comment on it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Would you give this as a gift for somebody else? Or would you want this as a gift for your person? So at that point, come along with us. Let's go see how Chanel's reaction is to the exploding cake that we got. Let's go. What's up, Chanel? Oh, Let's Are see what's in the box. Is it, and a is it the one like Ashley had? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Maybe. You're like shaking, trying to open. <laughs> 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 like, oh my god! Right, you like this? I don't know. Butterflies oh. and roses popping out, <laughs> flying around. How cool is that? So and then a little cake in the middle. That is so cute. Oh my god, and they're Oreos. <laughs> I love Oreos. How did you know? Sharice oh wanted to do the vanilla. I said, you know what? An Oreo cake is definitely the way to go. It's perfect. Thank you guys. You're so welcome. So you. welcome. Love you cool. love you. Yeah, of course. That's Happy so five year cute. anniversary. We kind of spoil our employees here. You see, this is all for a five year anniversary. Are you ready for the gold standard? That's right. Tight Medical Center provides the highest quality patient care and service in the entire country. And we cover so many different therapies and services that we can help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better. And you know what? We back it up with all the right things. From the great communication with our staff to you, we wanna make sure your therapies are going right, you're getting the results, you're educated about your therapies, and if you have any issues, we're there to help you with the resolution to get through that. We also wanna provide the highest quality medications and therapies to you. We wanna make sure that our patients are getting the best results with the best therapies and medication that they possibly can. And you know what? Titan Medical Center is always improving and always has more cutting edge therapies coming for you guys, along with all the other great stuff that Titan Medical Center can help you out with. So if you're looking for the gold standard for your health care and you want to take your body and health to the next level, you need to call or text us at Titan Medical Center, 727-389-3220. And if you want to check out all of our great therapies, Check out tightmedicalcenter.com. And if you want to watch the videos on it, just go over to YouTube, type in Tight Medical Center, press the subscribe button, hit the all notification bell, and enjoy all the great content and ways you can learn to feel better, look better, and perform better with Tight Medical Center. We'll be waiting on your call and text. We'll talk to you soon. What's up guys, this is Big Drew with Titan Medical. Just wanna give you guys a little insight as to why I got with Titan Medical and how they've helped me. Well, first off, I've been with Titan Medical for about two years now. If you guys, anybody knows me before Titan Medical, they know me as being Mr. McDonald's. I used to walk into the gym eating McDonald's. I still had abs and everything, but uh, one of the main things that brought me to Titan Medical was when I got my blood work done. Now you guys know, outside appearance is very important very important to me as opposed to anybody that goes to the gym but that outside appearance wasn't being affected by the McDonald's once I got my blood work done at Titan that's when I knew the McDonald's was hurting me rather than helping me so even though the outside looked great the inside has to look great too again once I got my blood work done 
I got some HRT. My testosterone levels were low. They were only 400. I thought it was high. I thought 400 was four times what it should be. It was supposed to be 800. I'm at 800 now, and I feel great thanks to Titan. My therapies, got to go with the Hercules Potion. Gives you a great pump. Keeps me in the gym for hours and hours. And one thing people don't realize about Hercules Potion too, it works like a Viagra or a Cialis, so you can kill two birds with one stone. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Next thing, ECA Stack Plus. Ephedra, caffeine, and aspirin. We also put that B12 and that chromium aspect in it too. It's gonna give you even more energy. And also B12 helps with sleep at night as well. So that's what I take before I train with my Hercules Potion. And the last but not least, my ultimate favorite, the Mass Builder, the one that makes me eat like a horse, MK677. Guys, MK677 is an oral peptide. It works kind of like an oral growth hormone. It's gonna make you eat like crazy, recover like crazy, and grow like crazy, and sleep like a baby. Those are my three favorite Titan therapies here at Titan Medical Center. Again, no more McDonald's for me. Everything is healthy from now on out, and it came from the blood test. Get your blood test, guys, at Titan Medical Center. Know what's going on inside your body. Don't just Google search. Don't rely on Dr. Google. Come to Titan, and we'll get you right. This is Big Drew, Titan Medical Center. I'm out. What's up guys, John from Titan here, and I wanna talk about another big question that I get. It is, John, how much or how many over-the-counter supplements or oral supplementation should I do? Um, and I respond back with, hey listen, what are you deficient in or what are you trying to do? To try to figure out you know, what you really should be doing. But the fact is, is a lot of people overdo it a lot of the time on oral supplementation or over-the-counter supplements. They really don't know what these things do to benefit them. They have no idea what's really in these things. And they don't look at the labels like they should or the ingredients. Or they have to deal with that asterisk and the little proprietary blend that we all see. So quality over quantity in all shapes and forms in everything you do in life. It's all about quality because you can get a, a whole bunch of nothing and it's really not going to have any value to you. Okay, So we want to look at what we're intaking in our body. So it's always good to supplement different things. Now, just for example, vitamins and amino acids. And everybody says, listen, you can get vitamins and amino acids from nutrition. So it's real simple to do, right? It sounds real simple, but it really isn't that simple. You'd almost have to be a perfect eater and eating all day long. Plus, let's not forget about our food sources, like the micronutrient content that we really get in some of these different food sources. Are we really getting the micronutrients and things that we really need to have our body properly run. And I'm telling you, in most cases, it doesn't do it. And vitamin D is a good example. A lot of people are vitamin D deficient. And here in Florida, I'm here, we get the sun all day. I've got a nice tan. I usually go out there and try to get at least 15 minutes a day. But during the week, I get a lot more. But I'm still vitamin D deficient. And a lot of people are in this category. Um, it's because our body doesn't absorb or, or process it properly anymore. So we have to supplement these different things. And vitamin D is just a perfect example because here at Titan Medical Center, we blood test and usually eight out of 10 people are vitamin D deficient or very low in vitamin D. And at that point, when you're low in vitamin D or deficient, it can cause a lot of different health problems, okay? Or you're not running at optimal or proper levels in your body like it should. So with these different things, make sure you guys know what you guys should be supplementing and don't overdo it. The reason you don't want to overdo it is you're taking all these different things in orally. If you're taking all these different things orally, I see like the, the pill challenge where people are swallowing 100 pills at a time. It's like, listen, your body has to break that down. And those ingredients in those pills or capsules or over-the-counter oral supplementation can cause damage to your liver because your liver has to process everything that runs through your body, okay? It's like the filter for your body. And you might be putting a lot of stress on that and other organs in your body. So make sure you guys are educated on these things that you need to take in. Don't overdo it, okay? More is not always better, okay? So remember that. 
and quality over quantity. That's why me, I prefer the injectable vitamin amino acids. It's very simple, very easy. It doesn't have to run through my liver. It doesn't have to process through my gut. It's in, I know what I got. I'm running great levels because I can blood test and see. And it's just way more efficient and effective. So if you guys want to know more tips and tricks like these or have more questions you want to ask me, please DM us. If you guys want to get it on our injectable vitamin amino acid therapies, it's real simple and easy. Just call or text us at 727-389-3220. I appreciate you guys. Stay healthy and stay tight and strong. Hey guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Here we offer hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers for both males and females, peptide therapy, and we do blood work in depth to give you guys all the information you guys need to feel better, look better, and perform better every single day. So if you want to do that, contact us today, 727-389-3220, and visit website, titanmedicalcenter.com. So, you're looking for weight loss. You just don't know where to find it or how to achieve it. Don't worry because Titan Medical Center is going to be your guide and direct you on the healthiest possible way for you to lose weight and transform your body to where you want it to be. Don't worry about it. We have all the tools in our arsenal to defeat fat, okay? We wanna help you guys with your weight loss transformation. And some of these different things out there can help in a number of different ways, not with just weight loss, but it can help you with your true health all the way around. So we know that if you're obese or overweight, this can possibly bring more health issues down the line if you already don't have those health issues now. And we don't want that. We're all about prevention, right? Preventative medicine and anti-aging here at Titan Medical Center. We wanna turn back the clock, but part of that is being healthy. And if you're overweight or obese, you know that that cannot be healthy for your body. And the longer you stay like that, the longer that you may have a higher risk of these things happening to you, like diabetes type two, cardiovascular disease, and much, much more. So do not delay on your weight loss transformation. Don't get down, don't get frustrated, right? It's the beginning of the year, so you guys can make a true change for yourself. And like I said, don't worry because Type Medical Center is, has all the knowledge that you're gonna need and will direct you on what is the best possible plan of action for yourself. So set yourself up for success and not failure. Call or text us today, 727-389-3220. If you wanna check out some of these awesome weight loss therapies, you can go to typemedicalcenter.com, which is our great website. and has all the different therapies on there. Or I can discuss these more in detail on our YouTube channel. Just go over, type in Type Medical Center, press the subscribe button, hit the bell for all notifications, and you guys are good to go. I appreciate it, and we look forward to helping you be the best possible self and create that weight loss transformation that you've always been dreaming for. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife over here so are giving you guys great tips, tricks, and information that will hopefully entice, excite, and enhance your relationship to a whole new healthy, positive level, right? With love, affection, and all the great things that come along with it. So, if you're in a relationship, it's been a long relationship, you guys tune in. If it's a short-term relationship you just got into, tune in. If you guys aren't in a relationship, this will be seriously needed for your future relationship so it can be successful too as well. Yep. And we're going to cover three main core components that every healthy relationship 
absolutely needs for success. So let's cover these three topics, mutual respect, mutual affection, and mutual trust. These three things are vital for a healthy relationship. These are the core of every healthy relationship. So let's get into them and start talking to them, Sharice. <laughs> mutual respect. So yeah, talking to them, Sharice. So this one's a big one, right? Mutual respect um, is when two partners respect each other. They're not putting each other down in public or in front of people, behind closed doors, whatever it may be. They respect the opinion of their partner. So when they're going to make a big life-changing decision about what their money is going to be, the house they're going to buy, what they're going to do in don't the future. Don't just run off and do it. They just don't want to Don't run do off it. and just do it. You know, <laughs> it's not, that's bad business. And just for the record, I would say 95% of the things that we talk about on this show, yep. we have been through ourselves, sure. right? And then we've actually done it, right? So I, I, I definitely am one of the per people here. Mm -hmm. I have definitely, you know, disrespected my husband in public. And it wasn't a disrespect, like disrespect. It was more or less like maybe starting an argument, right? right? In front of people, yeah. because I didn't care at the time. We're just too young to really just, put things together. You got to remember, we've been together 15 years. So yeah. I'm 21 years old. I was just hot, mean, mad. Woo. I didn't care. I didn't care who was around. I was just, I was popping off at anything I could. Yep. Bad to do that. Don't do that. Just don't do it. It's yeah. not, it's not nice. Um, it doesn't look good for either one of you guys. No, it doesn't. It does. And then it also doesn't make your partner feel good. That's right. Especially if you are dating somebody such as like an alpha male, right? Those alpha males, they demand their respect. That's right. And I'm not saying that males in general just shouldn't get respect. And it doesn't matter who your partner is. You could be a female. It could be another guy. I don't care who it is. But your significant other should gain that respect or have that respect from you mm -hmm. where you're not doing things like that. Because you don't realize that that is a form of disrespect. And, I mean, we've been down that road. I think we it probably took me solid, I'm not even going to lie, but, like, maybe like two or three years yeah probably around that time period i guess but i did it yeah finally took a lot of training guys <laughs> <laughs> so respect is definitely a big thing and there's different forms of disrespect that you can do right so like it, just for example you're talking to your girlfriends and you start throwing your partner underneath the bus mm. to, to strangers yeah even. Bad business. i've seen it i've seen where people just start throwing their partner underneath the bus to somebody they just met like five minutes ago Maybe because they were trying to vent, they were frustrated, whatever the case was, it doesn't make them look good and it makes their partner look really, really bad. Yeah. You know, so And then you eventually go back to your partner and then you look stupid. Yeah. And then, I mean that's what really well, happens, guys. That's the truth. Yeah, you feel disrespected, your partner maybe finds out or he's there and at that point, you know, he doesn't feel too good about what you said about him yeah. or her or whatever it may be. So Make sure you're putting that respect factor. And if there is a problem or issue, handle it directly with your partner. You know all the parties need to be involved right away, yeah. especially. Because if you do that, you're just getting other people to start looking at your relationship underneath the microscope, microscopic the telescope, basically, and looking at every little thing that's going on. And then you start going up against the grain that's and you don't right. even realize it because you have people that are chipping into your ear. Yep. And yep. then the things that you might have just thought up on your own that would have maybe resolved the issue. Yeah. Now you have people chippering in that don't even have a relationship. That's the big one. Okay? She hit it right in the nose. You don't even have a relationship. You have even no room to talk. Yeah. You're just talking. And it's just bad advice. It's just like, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're taking advice from somebody that has no idea what they're talking about because they're not even in a healthy relationship. Right. They might have been divorced three times and they're telling you, ah, oh, I would do this. And you're listening to them like it's gold. Like, oh, man, these guys have done it all. It's not true. It, you know, even when we talk about rich people, right? And you have all these, uh, you know, these teachers and stuff and teaching people in, in schools how to be rich. But the teachers aren't rich themselves. They haven't even been down that path. Yeah, you got to talk to people that have been there yes. and that are currently actively yes. there. And at that point, you're not going to find too many people out there that are like that either. It's a, a real... You're a minority if you have a healthy relationship these days, yeah. uh, a, a, a core relationship that has not been tampered with at all, right? It, it's definitely something that you're not going to be able to find. And if you do find it, 
Listen to the people that have been in that successful relationship for 20, 25 years, 30 years, If right? you find it, fight for it, too. Right. You know, like, just because you guys get into an argument, don't, don't go run off and be dumb about it. Yeah. That's just, that's not smart. Yeah. Right? So, if you find somebody, just make sure that you, you hold on to them and then try to work it out. I feel like that just doesn't happen anymore. Yeah. Nobody tries to work it out because there's so many places to swipe and so many cool stories to look at and there's TikToks and all kinds of other things. Different options, DMs, people, you know, chirping in from, from wherever, right? And at that point, don't listen to them. The grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. A lot of people think that. So they're just like, oh, you know, I'll just do whatever and, and don't worry about it. I'll find somebody better. And that might not be the case. And then you're kicking yourself in the butt the rest of your life, mm -hmm. you know, because the one got away. All right. Yep. Uh, the next one, mutual trust. Trust is everything. So yeah. we were talking about trust here before. It's like almost like your know, relationship's almost like building a house to a certain degree where trust is your foundation. Everything that's getting built on in your house is getting built on top of that foundation. And if it's a shaky foundation where the foundation's off, the house, the house is not going to settle correctly. Yeah. It's going to be all balanced and things problems. aren't going to be right. Yeah. Same thing with what your relationship will be. There will be cracks in your relationship if the trust is not there. Mm -hmm. Everything will be second guessed all the time and you'll have to try to earn that trust back. That's the only way. It's not something that you can flip <laughs> a switch on and off no. and say, yeah, I trust you now. Oh, you broke my trust. I'm turning it off. All right, don't worry. Now I'm okay. I'm turning it back on for you. No, it's like a tree. It is like a tree. It's a like tree. Groot. A it's tree. like Groot. Yeah, Remember, yeah. He, he like chopped himself off and then he... It he, took forever. He went from a, a big Groot to a baby Groot. It and took forever. Like a teenage Groot right now. It took forever, but it happened. Yeah. yeah right? So, happens. you know, you have to be patient on the other end. Yeah. And then the other person, that, the, the party at fault, that's the person that needs to be, you know, open to, hey, listen, the trust was broken. This, we're trying to amend that, and both parties have to work at this together. Well, the flip side of that is, is that your partner has done nothing, but you've got your trust broken in past relationships. Mm, that's and a tough people one. People can't get over that. That's a tough one for a lot of girls. And, I, I can, and guys, yeah, I don't mean, just say girls. Yeah. It's guys too. I mean, listen, it's working both ways out there. I guess. It's not just the guys are, guys are out are there cheating. being the playa playa. Yeah. There you got girls yeah, out there cheating. looking for the Willy Wonka golden ticket, right? <laughs> And they're all out there they doing this, right? Chocolate. You got OF. You've got all these different OF. sites. OnlyFans, oh. SugarDaddy.com. And, you know I'm and listen, I, on the guy side, they might be, you know, playing, playing too. So it is what it is. Yeah. But I'm telling you this much: you got to have that trust. And if you've had your trust broken in prior relationships, this is something you need to communicate forward to your partner and let them know: Hey, listen, this did happen in the past. And it, it, it's not like you physically got hurt, like a physical scar, oh, no. but you could be emotionally scarred in yeah. some way, shapes, and forms. And at this point, if it was really bad and you got lied to, abused, whatever it is, obviously this is not going to go away. You have this in the back of your mind, but you have to put it in there that, listen, this is not that person yeah, either. Yeah, it's a brand new person. And if you start seeing the red brand flags of that old person in that person, then maybe that's the sign to say, hey, listen, this might not be the person for me. Yeah. You know, so you have to realize that up front and not fall into those old things that you fell into before. A lot of people, they, they, they see a certain, like they like a certain type of person. Right. But that same certain type of person is the same person that's going to put you possibly in the same scenario yep. that you were in before. Yep, yep. So if that didn't work out for you, maybe, you know, the, the guy with the tattoos at the bar with the beers or the whatever, bad boys. whatever it is. And he's got chains in his pockets and, you know, some, <laughs> some Timberlands on. I don't know. Whatever kind of guy it okay, is. Right? chain wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, just, you know, it wasn't working, right? So maybe you should switch it up. Yeah. That's yeah. all. It definitely is. I mean, you know, at that point, you know, that's that's what you got to do. You got to make sure you're evolving too as well and not stay in the same place. Because if you go in this, the exact same place with the exact same mindset, the exact same thing's going to happen with that type of person. And then get so, the hamster wheel. So change things up. I'm going you, you never know. You might find somebody that you know, is totally polar opposites of what you are. And you guys attract like that too, as well. It happens all the time, mm -hmm. right? And if you're looking for certain qualities, look for certain different people that might meet those qualities and see those qualities. Mm -hmm. Sometimes friendship might be first, right? And then you work your way into a relationship. I mean, you never know, right? These different things happen all the time. Relationships don't just happen all of a sudden sometimes, you know, it might take one or two times to meet each other. Me and Sharice, 
didn't hit it off the first time we met. Yeah. There wasn't no flames or flickering or anything like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this happens afterwards. But there was flames like three, it was like three or four times after we met. Yeah. It was like the one that was just, it was the night. Yeah. It was really weird. That's how it goes. So That's weird. How it goes. Flame yeah. on. Yeah. He was like walking in the club <laughs> looking all cute. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, this is this is the John guy that I've been talking to. That's I'm right. like, okay, that's right. Let's let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads us into our third and final core element to healthy relationships. It's mutual affection. This is both of you guys mutually showing affection to each other, whether it's a hug, a kiss, you guys holding hands, love notes, whatever that is, right? Emotional and physical affection. Mm -hmm. This is giving compliments to your partner too as well. I love you. You look really pretty in your outfit today. Thank you, Cherise. And all these different things out there, you know, showing affection is key. Where, you know, as relationships start, sometimes there's more affection given on one side than the other. Or as they go on, that power has switched to the other partner possibly. Mm -hmm. And one partner is just, you know, showing the affection. It can't be like it's that. It's got to be a 50-50 split. It's got to be. It's yeah. got to be reciprocated. It's got to be a 50-50 split. You guys got to both show the affection in both of these ways. And it could be the like weirdest work. things, guys. You guys don't realize it's the smallest things. Like, you know, I told you guys in previous episodes, which you should watch, but I told you guys in previous episodes, you know, I usually don't leave the house without giving John a kiss or at some point giving John a kiss. I think I might have not given you a kiss today now that I'm thinking about it. But anyways, a long story short. I'll take one right now. Wait, no, we do threes. Okay, so anyway, that's our thing, right? It's so weird and we're so crazy. But anyways, it's important to show affection, right? You know, it's, whether it's, you know, uh, it could be in the kitchen, they walk by and let's just say that's your version of showing affection, you know, maybe you grab their butt, okay? Or maybe, you, you know, whatever it might be, that's affection. Or let's say you guys are in bed and a lot of couples that have been together for a long, long time, they do eventually, for some very strange reason, end up like facing the other side. It, it happens a lot. Like you start with the, and it, this is like, it's a fact. You start with like the cuddle like this, and then you start with the cuddle like this, and then all of a sudden you guys are cuddling this way, not really cuddling, because you're just, that's the side you want to sleep on, right? Yeah, it but comfortable. It's not like, you know, but take a second while you're in bed, you guys are watching Netflix, whatever it might be, and just maybe come closer and just, you know, maybe hug them like that. Like, that's all it takes. And that way your significant other, whether it's female, male, whatever, it doesn't matter who you are, you can still do this type of stuff. They'll feel good about it. Like, oh my God, they still love me. Yeah. So that's it. It's really easy. Three core elements to help you have a healthy, long lasting, successful relationship. Mutual respect, mutual trust, and mutual affection. It's not that hard. I think it's pretty easy. Just apply these three things. And I promise you guys, your relationship will go on to a healthier, long lasting level. And hopefully you guys will have more passion than ever. So that's this week's Cupid's Corner. We appreciate you guys tuning in every week, 11 a.m. on ABC. If you DVR it, that's awesome too. If you can't do that, you can't watch it live, you can't DVR it, check us out on YouTube. Just go over there and type in Titan Medical Center and you guys will get to see this Cupid's Corner, all the rest of Cupid's Corner, and our other great content for Titan Medical Center. And if you need some help in the bedroom, spice some things up, or you want to help, you know, that look for your partner too as well, I we can help you out. Call or text Titan Medical Center at 727-389-3220. We appreciate you guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then.